what video this is at this point. I'm kind of done counting. But, uh... Yeah, I'm riding around. I don't really know where I'm going. Just kind of... Just kind of going. I've already seen, like, three cops, so I gotta be good. This will be a pretty peaceful ride. Not, not much too crazy going on. I just really wanted to get out of the house. Honestly, I didn't really have nothing to do today, so... Figured I'd just get on the bike ride right around. I think I'll go get some, like, uh, some pictures or something somewhere. I don't know where to go, though. I'm gonna try and find somewhere kind of cool. Um, I already did a lake once, so I kind of don't want to do a lake again. But there's some different shots I want to try and get, so I might actually just go to the same spot, because it's pretty cool over there. And it's always open. So, I get a lot of room to do whatever I want. It's only, like, 15, 20 minutes from here, so... I think it'll be perfect. I think I do gotta take that off and like actually get in there and clean it out, bro. It's still kind of doing it a little bit. I mean, it, it doesn't feel like it's as bad as before, but it still does it and it kind of scares me, but... Listen, if I'm gonna be paying for roadside assistance, I'm gonna use it, alright? I don't think it's very hard. It's literally like two screws and that thing just comes off, but... I might do it when I get back. Cause then I gotta ride it again to see if it's actually just dirty or if it's just not working. I love these roads, man. There's usually not a lot of traffic on it too, bro. That's what's really, that's what makes it fun. I don't like being in traffic. I'm trying to get this thing working by uh, July 4th weekend. Cause I know it's supposed to be like fireworks or something. I really wanna go. Bro, this road is way too straight to be going the speed limit, bro. On this closed course, I just wanna, just wanna go but I'm not going to. It's super windy today, anyway. I can feel it literally blowing me all over the road right now. If you guys didn't know already, I'm from Ohio, and I feel like a lot of people that would want to watch these videos are people from, like, the city or something. Wait, what is that? Is that the eye? Oh, it's an MR2. Oh, it's so cute. That is alright. It seemed okay. Wait, what was I saying? Man, I forget what I was saying. Whatever. We'll just go on to the next thing. I do have a question for some of you guys. Uh, when is a good time to upgrade to a leader bike? Um, I mostly want it, not really to just go on the highway and go crazy, but like, I don't know. I just really want an all in one, man. They sound and look so good, but I don't know if I can justify spending like 15 grand on a motorcycle. I got this one for like five some, so like I had a pretty good deal on it. I mean, it's not bad. I don't know, man. The the R1 is just it's so cool, dude. And like I feel like if you control yourself, then you're not gonna be doing 180 on the highway every day. But I don't know. I'm just curious because I started on a 600 and. I think I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't say used to it, but like, I don't know. I'm not getting used to the power or anything, it's just, I, I want something new. I don't know. And the R1, man, just the sound, the look, it's so aggressive and, I don't know. It's a hard maybe for me, but like, I'm just curious to see what everyone else thinks around me. A lot of my friends say that they could stay on the 600 forever and be fine. Which I definitely agree with that. It's for sure enough power, but like... Sometimes it's not all about the power, man. Like, I want a lot, you know? I want a different bike just for a different reason. So like, at what point do I just commit and buy it? Also, I don't know the insurance difference. And if I get an R1, it's probably gonna be a new one. So... It's gonna need to be fully insured. And I know that's a lot of money, and I cannot afford full insurance on a brand new bike. No way. I don't even know what it would be, but like, I'm assuming like 200 maybe or something like that. And that's a lot, dude.
don't know if you guys seen that right there, but they did it again. When it shuts off, you just gotta freaking turn it back on. Maybe it's because I hit all those railroad tracks and it just like knocked it off course or something. I don't really know. I don't know what year I'm in. It's just so annoying, dude. And it sucks knowing that I can't push the bike right now because of it. I'm like super nervous, you know? If you guys watched one of my first videos, you'll know where I'm at right now. This is where that one turns out where I almost dumped it, bro. Because these little tall things on the road, man, they'll catch you off guard. You don't even got to be going fast for it, dude. They just, they're so slick for some reason. I don't know why. But I'm actually going to pay attention this time, and I'm not going to hit them. Well, I'm going to do my best. It's so weird whenever you're doing this, because you're not supposed to look at, like, what to avoid. You're supposed to look uh, at what you want to hit. You know what I'm saying? Like, target fixation, look. See, I completely missed them. So I was chilling. So I guess my issue last time was that I was staring right at it, so I must have went right on it. Or I just got unlucky. I don't know. One of the two. It doesn't really matter. I ended up hitting it, so. Dang, now where do I want to go? Do I want to go to town? Uh, yeah, I'll go to town. Screw it. Hopefully I don't get stranded. Crossing my fingers. Wait, bro, I think I seen that dude earlier. Man, what do you guys think about Harleys, bro? I know my buddy Zach has one. Man, it looks pretty fun, too. I don't want to... It's like... It's heavy, for sure. It's definitely heavier than this, and you can tell. But it's not so heavy that it's unmanageable. He has a, uh, I think it might be like an 08 Sportster 1200. So, I mean, it's not one of the biggest Harleys by any means, but it's still a Harley. And I don't know, he's like, right one right up. I'm like, nah, nah, I'm not dropping someone else's bike, dude. I'll let someone ride mine, but I ain't riding someone else's. Well, I'll let him ride mine in the parking lot. I don't know, man. They just seem so comfortable, and at some point, if I keep riding, you know, and I stay on this motorcycling adventure, I'm gonna eventually need to not be riding this because this isn't very uh, old person friendly. I mean, even my back hurts when I ride this thing. That dude's cooking, bro. I hate pulling out. Oh, that's wild. That dude's a freak in front of me. Uh-uh. Bro, you can feel it. It did it again, dude. Yo! R6! No way! I never see bikers, bro. That's wild. I actually never see bikers in this area. Like sport bikes. I see way more when the students are in there, that's for sure. But when the students are gone, like right now, it's, uh, it's almost July, so... There ain't no students here. But when, like, late August comes, then students come back, and there's a few there that have bikes I know of. My arm is killing me, bro. The only bad thing about having an old bike, man, you don't have any of the the cool electronics. Like, dude, this thing doesn't have a it doesn't have a steering dampener, it doesn't have ABS, it doesn't have traction control, it doesn't have wheelie control, no uh, throttle lock or cruise control, whatever you want to call it. Uh, what else do I have? Let me think. Um, it doesn't have any like different modes or anything like. The newer bikes, you can put them in like lower modes for lower power. They got rain modes. Like, these older bikes, man, they're bare bones. I don't even have a gas gauge, dude. I got coolant temp, how fast I'm going, my miles, and my uh, tachometer. That's, well, that's it. Oh yeah, another thing. This one doesn't have a gear indicator. Some new riders might find that actually kind of hard to deal with, but since I, I was riding before I had this one, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of just have it in my head now. You just gotta like count your gears, man, and you'll, you'll see like your RPMs, like when I'm going 70 mile an hour uh, in six gear, my RPMs will be at 6,000. I already know that on the dot. It's just little stuff, man. After you ride your bike for so long, you just know kind of how it works and stuff that makes it run better too like like if I was to sell mine right now and not tell them about the kill switch which I don't know why I would do that because it's not even that hard of a fix but if I was to 
and it happened to them, bro, they wouldn't have no idea what's going on. But, since it's mine, I know exactly what to do. That's why a lot of people, when they get a bike, bro, they just keep it for a long time. Like, I know someone, he just uh, bought a bike off some guy, and the guy had it for 17 years, dude. It's stretched, built motor, I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's like a 01 uh, ZX7 or something like that. I don't, I don't really know. I don't talk to the guy very much, but yeah, I'm already cooked, bro. It's so freaking hot, dude. Listen, if anyone out there is a new rider, man, and you're not wearing a helmet, you are tripping. Because, dude, I've seen so many wrecks where literally if they would have had a helmet, they would have lived. Yeah, I know, I don't got a jacket on. But I got my pants, I have everything but a jacket on right now. So, I gotta dodge these big old potholes, bro. God. Also, another new tip for uh, new riders. If you're coming to a stop, like, kind of abruptly, flash your rear brake. Or even your front brake, like you just got this. And it'll flash it to the guy behind you. So that they can actually tell that you're stopping. I did that on my first bike. Kind of like out of this habit, though. I don't know why I started doing that. Oh, my fans are kicking on. Yeah, one of the previous owners installed a uh, second fan on my radiator. So, I actually have two radiator fans. I'm pretty sure they don't come with that stock. I don't even think the last lady knew about it, to be honest with you, bro. She was not very, uh, mechanically inclined, she said. She said if she needed to work on it, she just took it somewhere and had it done. Didn't really ask what needed done, just took it in and said fix it. I mean, I guess. Some people do do that, though. Me, personally, I like to figure it out first and then bring it somewhere. So that way... The hard, or the, some of the expenses are already taken care of. Where should I park? I'll go right here. Am I fine to leave it on the kickstand right here? Oh yeah, we chilling. Alright, I'm gonna get some food, and I'll be right back. Yo, just got done. Time to go home. I don't know how much longer this video is going to be. My thing's about to die, actually. So, yeah, I'll record a little bit on the way. Yeah, I'm ready to just get out of here, bro. Yeah, if nothing does happen, I think this will just be the end right here. So, if I don't see y'all again, then uh, peace out.